G'day, this is Brack. Welcome to The Breakfast Club. And today we're doing another review, but this time from Mr. Modular. It's The Breakfast Club. G'day, yes, Mr. Modular Orc. Now there's a name that's been going around a little while lately um, because you may or may not know there's a new skirmish game called Modulorca, which is Orcs vs. Orcs skirmish game. And I've had a quick look at it. It looks really, really good. I'm just trying to digest all the rules so I can actually talk about that. Another video will go into the rules and maybe I might even have a little game and see how that goes. But that's for another video. This is to talk about some of the models that he comes with it. Now, he designs in the in 3D world, but there's also a place where you can actually go and get some physical models. So let's go over there and have a look. Okay, here we are at onlygames.co, which is where you can actually get some physical models from Mr. Modulork. You may have seen another video I did recently um, from Station Forge, same site. Isn't that great? So I've got the prices here in Australian dollars. So if you're not in Australia, you don't want to use Australian dollars, use the currency that most excites you. Before I start, you're going to notice a couple of thi things. Well. If you are a keen observer, you may notice a couple of things. One is that there seems to be the same kit, but at different prices. One's for the small size, the lad size, and the other is for elite size. So also, as we go through, you might notice that some have got different colored backgrounds. Now that's because of the, the different groups, classes. Not really clans, but you know what I'm heading for. Um, that'll make sense when you have a look at the game. But you know, even if you don't want to play the game, want some cool models, there's some really good models to have a look at. So let's have a look at the first one, the Goblin Lads. Okay, so you've got five groovy looking goblins here. Look at this guy. He's I'm, I'm liking him. I love the teeth, the scar, it's a little people powder. And a shooter. This little goblin must be ugly because she can't see his face. He's hiding it. Oh, look at this. Oh, lovely looking sculpts. And we oh, got a happy little grin. But you know something that we don't. This little fellow with his hat and his cutlass and his... Yeah, these are, these are nice. I like these. These are really, really good. Here we are, the uh, Bomb Monster Kit. Wow, look at these. These are, these are, well, we know what they are. Squig Bombs. How they play out in the game, I'm not quite sure. You'll have to have a look. Or we'll wait till the video when I talk about that next time. But yeah, look, these are, th I, I like this. Look, what I do like, you've got, what I do like about the two selections here, is that you can use them to go with other kits, especially the GW stuff. So there, here's, there's your classic one with your, your tank hunters and your tank busters. And this one could be a great little bomb squig to go with your squig hog boys. Or if you've got other squigs. Or squig rider boys, depending what they are, because they don't really have that little piggy face, but they look like an old fashioned squig, don't they? Yeah. I am really enjoying these sculpts. And I love this detail on their leg here. That's uh, that's a nice touch. A very nice touch indeed. Here we are, the Hunter Cavalry. Look at this groovy looking fella. His squig hair. Look a bit like dreadlocks. Great looking face. I'm, I don't mind these orcs. The, the ears are a little... Um, more elfin like than what you would expect, but ah, what the heck. Um, yeah, it looks really good. Let's see if we can turn this guy around. Yeah, I like that. I do like that. That's a nice looking grin on that guy's face. This goblin. <laughs> Check out that goblin. There's another one. 
Okay, let's have a look at these. All right, so here he is, Mr. Modular, so our modular kits. Um, so I'll fit in there like that, and what do we have? There's the rider. The rider looks really, really good. Yeah, I can see how these all fit together. Um, I do like the stitching on the trousers. This head is fantastic. And... Look at that Grot's face. That looks nice too. Oh, look at that. Nice little chopper. Loving the fingernails. Loving the fingernails. And some extra little goblins to put on the stuff. So it looks like there's a an extra head. So you've got two heads you can choose. That's really good. It's a bit of goblins. Yeah. Very, very nice. And I'll probably just show this. See, look, here's, here's the scaling if you want lads, elite, and bosses, just so you know the difference. Now, not all come in boss size. Some are just lads and elites. Um, some are just elite and bosses. It depends on what Mr. Modulork wants for his game. But nice looking kit, this one. Lovely looking sculpts. So here is Cavalry Modular Kit B. The other one was C. And this one was B, I forgot to mention that. And so we've got a slightly different look here, a different type of weapon. Um, that looks nasty. Even the goblin is brandishing a different weapon. It's a nasty looking thing, isn't it? I like that face. I really love that face. A lot of nice detail in here. And I do like the the rope or the twine as a as a bracelet. That's a nice touch. Makes it look a little bit more uh, more feral, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. These monsters. Or squeaks. Or whatever you want to call them. Loving the teeth. Imagine that. Oh, you can get paint into that. That's really, really good. We looked at kit. Kit C. Then kit B. So now, naturally, we go to kit A. And wow. Look at this. Nasty looking weapon. Ooh, I wouldn't want to get poked with that. The fur on the back's a great touch. Love that face. The de determination on these these goblins or grots. Although it looks a little bit vampirish to me. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. What do you think? Comment below. Let's have a conversation. And he's opening up his mouth. He's ready to do something nasty, isn't he? Yeah. So some extra gubbins so you can sort of change this up a bit if you if you wish. That looks really nice. I don't know if I like that or not. I don't know. What do you got? Anyway, that's the Hunter Cavalry Modular Kit A. Okay, the Modular Orc Minigunner Kit. And it's elite size. There's only just one of these guys, but look at this. And he cool there, and his sunglasses, and his slick back hair. Oh, he's been a motorbike. Yeah, it's uh, I get Terminator vibes from this. But check out this gun. Wow. I do like how you can put some little extra fire bits here. Like, don't like this. I really like this bit. It looks really, really good. Oh, look, he spent all that ammo. Wow. That's massive. And you've got the choice of two. Let's see, one with the glasses and one without. Both these faces. I love the tusks. The tusks look great. And this jacket. 
Ah, the crumpled up shirt is, is a fantastic effect. I really like that. And his little hats for the weapon. His little hands for the weapon. That looks like he's got gloved and that looks not gloved. And check out this weapon. Okay, so you've got you either have gloves or non gloves. Or you can mix and match if you if you want. That would make for interesting. Yeah, that'd be interesting if you if I, I do that sort of thing. Nice. Nice. Very nice. And that's the modular orc minigunner kit. Look, they've got lots of different heads you you, you can get. Um, yeah, well, I, I wasn't going to for the state of brevity, but let's make this thing a little bit longer. These are the punk heads, and of course these can scale up to how you like them too. So, if you want to do a, a, a boss, if you need a boss, you want to give him a little punk hat, hat, the head, then yeah, go for it. It's great to put on your bosses like that. Especially this guy here. I really like this guy. This is he's quite cool. We've got the sunglasses guy. And <laughs> he's got a, he's got his tongue pierced. I didn't think orc I didn't think orcs went I didn't think orcs went for that sort of shenanigans. Loving this mohawk. Loving this mohawk. And look, it's Vivian Orc. <laughs> I need to see a Neil Orc now. Okay, here are some Orc Rifle Lads. Kit A, which probably means there's going to be another kit there somewhere. And I am really enjoying these. Look at this, you got this guy here. With your classic type shooter, another classic type shooter. Tommy gun type thing, here he is, waving, a, waving his gun in the air like I just don't care and going, Wah! and he's a shotgun fella. I do like this head. I love the eye patch. Oh, what the heck, let's look at these in a closer detail. Look at that face. I really do like Mr. Modular Orc's faces. I'm going to have to get some. And I'm not saying that because I'm on here. I really gotta get some. Yeah, look at this shotgun guy. Look at this shotgun. Wow. Wow. Those nice claw like nails. They just look fantastic. They're more claws than nails, aren't they? And he looks at a head. Great looking head. Another ugly orc because you can't see his face. Nice big piercing gaze. Great looking stance. Loving the, the belts on the wrists before. Oh, he's on a tactical box. And some tactical ammo. And knee pad. A serious looking fat look on this guy. Ooh. Yeah, no, that's good. Now, what about. Look at that. Happy McOrky. Happy, happy, happy. Yeah, he's looking good. Loving the expression on this guy's face. A little protective for the not-so-important bits. There's the rifle, lads. Kit A. I really like this kit. Oh, the Orc Rockstar kit. This would be great. Oh, look at this. What an axe. What an axe. And what a shooter. He's, he's, he's ready to play some serious folk tunes, I reckon. A little bit of boombox there to, to, to get him get that beat going. Yeah. He's a busker orc. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. I love it. And here he is. This is the orc kid. This looks really good. I like that. That's a great touch. It's the tactical boombox. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what. I wonder. Can you use guitar, folks? Know what key he's playing there? I don't know whatever he's, he's enjoying it. Look at this weapon. Close up on this weapon. 
that is a thing of beauty a real thing of beauty yeah so nice so nice I see you. If, you, if you don't want to put the uh, speakers up there and just have him just have him rocking out good touch good touch there you go the modular orc rockstar kit very very tasty indeed okay helmeted heads helmeted heads quickly we'll go through this nice loving the teeth Love the grin. I've never really liked the pointy bit on, on, on helmets. It's That's just my personal taste. But it's not bad. It's not bad. The happy orc helmet. Oh, he's, he's, maybe he's chipped that and he's uh, got a little bit of extra. He's, he's, he's got a prosthetic tooth. And there's the happy orc helmet. And here's the sad orc helmet. Sorry. No, not sorry. This I'm having fun. Is it Frankenstein's orcish monster? Yeah, I like that. There you go. Five orc helmets. Scale them up to how you like. And, uh, yeah. Interesting for a boss, especially this guy here. Yeah, he make a great boss. Well, we saw some rifle lads. So here are the, the um, pistol melee lads. And there's five of them. And they all look like all foreboding and gory. So let's have a little look at this guy. He's got a nice club, which I'm not quite sure I'd like to join, but the the half armored helmet looks it, it's a I like it. I really, really like that. Shooter. Yeah, boots. Second guy, he's got hair squigs. Nice lip ring. Shooter looks nice. I mentioned before, and I'll mention again, I do like the crumpled effect on the, uh, the t-shirt. This guy has been through the waz, hasn't he? A massive look, I like the scarring effect. That looks really, really good. Um, he's obviously didn't want to get his fingers hurt, so he called a protection. Yeah, because if it's not on, then it's not on. I like the old glyph on the knee pad there, and a bit of patch on his on his trousers. Let's have a look at number four. Oh. Serious looking shooter, that one, isn't it? Serious looking face. He's got a few nicks and scrapes on that face of his, but ooh, yeah, not as bad as the previous one. And he's been taking a little bit of fire onto that shoulder pad too. Nice running pose. And a little tactical rock. This guy's got a stick bomb. And he's about to throw it. Yeah, look, nice. I do like that. The gun's different. The five different guns, bits of extra gubbins, and extra bits to put on there, and an extra hand, and then you've got the, the melee weapons. Love that club. I think it's my favourite. And there's what the boys love. I'm not going to go through each one. We, you've seen modular kits before, haven't you? So there we are. The Orc Pistol Melee Lads. These are fantastic. Okay, here we are with the Munster Hunters kit. Five groovy looking things here. So, wow. Let's look at each one individually. Here is one with a snapping claw. A boss pole. Serious looking face and chin guard there. Serious looking Oh man, this is great. Whoa, look at that gun. That looks great. And he's stepped on something dead. He's hunted something. He's killed it. Now he's a nice big gun. You'd probably get a thump with, out of that if it would hit you. I like it. I really do like this gun. I think I, I, think I actually prefer it better than the, the GW 
version which this would proxy for if you were to play it on the other game. But, yeah. But that's just my personal opinion. Yeah. That's nice. That is really nice. An old wiry sort of guy with a little... He's got a beast skull for a hat. He's got some teeth there. I'm not sure what he's going to do with those teeth, but he's got it. But this thing here, this weapon. Wow. Another guy with another claw. Big spiky hat. Big spiky helmet. Yeah, look, that looks really, really good. So much detail. Love the scar over his eye. And this guy... Big chopper type melee weapon. That's that's some protective gear, isn't it? That would be. I would hate to be shouldered by that. And I do like these guns. I love the beards. I'm a fan of a beard. Okay, so yeah, there's the guns. Oh, I like this one. That's a nice touch. That's a very nice touch. Actually, gibbons and gubbins and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, look, that looks really, really good. So, um, yeah, I like this kit. That's the Orc Monster Hunters. The Modular Orc Warlock Kit. Oh, I do like that. He's nice. He's pretty. Nice little kit there at the back there to sort of help him focus his psychic powers. The expression, um, the way the hands are posed. Looks great. The stance. Nice looking rock. <laughs> Just the way this is. Uh, hey, rah, rah. Jazz hands. <laughs> sorry. No, not sorry. He got his hands in the way there so he can death. Yeah. So you might actually have an extra kit there as well. Oh, head looks interesting. You can mix and match. All right, so you can mix and match. This is really, really good. So there's the you can actually. So you've got two torsos, four heads, and one set of legs. So you can, you can, you can make a. So you can make a wall lock, and a half. I like him. I like him a lot. Now let's look at these Munster Hunter heads. You just want to get some extra head and a cloak. Looks nice. Lovely looking scar. Maybe this is the Neorg. <laughs> no, he's a little bit too too aggressive to be a Neil, isn't he? Yeah. There's a bit of metal on his face over his over his, that patch. Yeah, that patch is a nice touch, isn't it? You need an ugly orc. Hiding behind his bandana. Look at this guy. Wow. That helmet, the hat, the, the skull helmet is just fantastic. I like how they've got the, the tusks there to cover his eyes. I think he needs something to cover his bottom jaw because look, he's been hit a couple of times. More a nice looking veteran. He looks a little bit older and wiser. Do you know what? I really should learn how to braid my beard so I can look like this. Well, I need to get an earring. Yeah, the Monster Hunter headset. They're, they're great. Especially this guy. Love this guy. Some more Monster Hunters. This time's a little bit different. These are the A. The last ones I showed you were the B set. So, oh, I like this guy pointing. He looks fantastic. They all look great. Look at that. fan freaking fantastic. There you go. Set one. All these guys seem to be, they really have gone through the wars, haven't they? Well, that's his little, that's his little hat. I like how it's bare skins, and it's lots and lots of green in there. Not as much green for this one, because he's wearing a little shirt, isn't he? Oh, I like that netting effect on the, on the front, that looks really good. So the shoulder pad, and there's the head. 
bit more flesh with a nice little bit of a fur coat. It's all the rage today. Um, a slimmer face, this one. Yeah, there's that, that knitting effect I quite like. This is a sort of running pose. And there's an interesting shoulder pad with a few rib bones there. I would say, I'm sure. Um, could be a spine off um, something with a fin. Yeah, I'm going with that. Another one, not wearing a shirt. The rope on the wrist is great. Loving the uh, the sideburns. Love those sideburns. Mutton chops. Mmm, mutton. That's a nasty looking shoulder pad, isn't it? And this guy's about to step on his tactical rock. So look at this guy here. He's got lots of cords. He's, 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 um, a bit of his skin and a whole lot of cords he's wearing for decoration. He's got himself a hood and a nice braided beard, beard squeaks. And he's obviously killed something and put it on his shoulder pad. And yeah, I like that one too. I know you could do that without the, the rocks, always like he's stepping up. That would be a good look. Nice little weapon here. Serious. Because these are modular, so they mix and match, you know, so you can just do all what you need to do. Yep, that's the kit A from the Munster Hunters. Okay, some really interesting looking heads from the Orc Bionic heads. So they've these are some orcs that have visited the dock. Oh, look at that. The dock's got rear right in there and him some workings. He's got a little eye, some hydraulics so he can open up his mouth and to protect a little bit of grey matter. Whatever little grey matter he has. Oh, there's been some serious work done under there, has he? He's piping in for whatever reason, I know not. I'm sure the doc had a, a very important and most likely hilarious reason to do so. And he's obviously lost his jaw, he's got his jaw stamp put in. How does he eat? Well, there's some hydraulics, so maybe that should move a little bit. That's why you should brush your teeth, folks. Ah, the classic bionic eye. Would you like that? Maybe he needs a little bionic tooth. He's got a little bit missing there. <laughs> Uh, yes, squig for brain git. <laughs> the pictures, it speaks for itself, doesn't it? Wow. Oh, man. That is fantastic. Ah, the bionic heads. Love them. Okay, he's a monster hunter. See, he just, just one little thing got by himself. So you buy this little guy individually? Oh, I like that. So it's a it's a leather sort of jacket he's wearing. Yeah, these are great. These are really, really good. I like this one. Back. Look at that lovely looking weapon. Sewn on a little bit of hide together, make a wonderful jacket. Yeah. That's nice. I like the boots. And the belt, I do like the belt. That's the Orc Munster Hunter C. Wow. Oh, check out that face. Love it. Orc Bucket Heads. Just, the heads, heads with, they've got the various bits of buckets. I nailed them, plonked on. They look pretty cool. This one, he's, he, needs, he obviously wants a lot of protection. And there's one without. It's basically the same thing. Hasn't got the jaw piece. This is, he's just got a mask stapled to his head. Looks like he's tried up there. I think he got hit once before. Ouch. Maybe he needs a bit of help. Bigger helmet. It's 
Yeah, look, these are great. These are really, really good. They've got some with the helmet or with the jaw piece. So that's the way that's set up for you. So you can have it however you like. The bucket heads. Yeah, they're great. Well, they've got objective markers and dice there if you want to use, but we won't. I'm more interested in the orcs. Need the Monster Hunter B. Looking nice. We have seen these before, so these are, so you can get them individually. That looks really good. And there's A in true scale. So yeah, so he looks like yeah. Looks really really nice. Looking head. Nice head. Looks great. Okay, heads with goggles. Not bad. Not bad at all. We've got the classic googly eyed goggle. We've got the cool protective eyes. We've got goggles that are probably a little bit too small. Nice looking grin. And we've got one that's not, doesn't like, he's, he's, he's a bit unsure where they go, don't they, isn't he? And this guy knows what's what. Yeah, look at that. Love that nose. And these teeth. Whoa. And this is set A of the Orc Goggle Heads. I was going to say Google Heads, but that's not right. Orc Scar Heads. Here's some that got scars. So, whoa, he's... Looks like his nose has been chopped out. Oh, he's been in a battle, hasn't he? Wow. He's got bullets for teeth. Let's have a look at these individually. Oh, he's the. <laughs> Maybe this one's a bit. He's a bit poor, and he's had to. Um, he had to buy a new DACA, uh, some new DACA, and uh, he's got a little bit of teeth. These are just, just. So he's, he's just fashioned these up, waiting for his new teeth to grow. So why he, so he can he can save up, so so he can buy new stuff and not miss out in the wild because he likes biting people. And this guy, look at that. We call him Bullet Ammo Fang, Ammo Fang. That hat's been hit a couple of times, hasn't it? This guy really needs a helmet. Look at that. that face has been sewn up many a time and it's all stuck together with bolts and yep he's just I've got a funny feeling this guy got hit with an axe and the doc just took it out and just turned it around and put it back on oh man these tusks and there he is no nose but a spike all scar heads set C some more scar heads. This is set B. And look at that. There's five of them here. Look at them one by one. Another guy. I think we've seen these heads similar before. These are emboss size. Yeah, they look really, really good. I like that touch. There's not much less in. Look, he's, he's lost a tooth. He's lost two tooth. He's just making up for it with a little bit of uh, protective tooth wear. And he's lost an eye. Like patch sort of nailed in there. Bolted in. Wow. Oh, he's definitely been punched in the face. Nasty. Oh, oh. That would have hurt. A bit of plasma action going on there. Oh, 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 oh. I feel that. Oh. Oh. Poor little orc. And this guy. He's definitely been mauled by something. Something bigger than him. Wow, got into him, isn't he? Oh, I'm surprised he's still alive. That's a set B of the orc scar heads. These are gruesome. Especially this poor little fella. I feel for you, buddy. Okay, set A of the orc scar heads. Check these out. Wow, look at that. Battered and bruised. Let's have a look at the first one. He's got an eye patch. That looked like something nasty hit him there. But I don't think he's... I, I think he's probably the one that's got off the most slightly. Oh, well, yeah, he's been he's been almost split in two, but 
There's a nasty thing hit him on the head there, and he's look, he's been he's been shot out a couple of times. He's a lucky one. We'll have to paint him blue. This one, nice big tooth, nice big scar, serious looking gaze. This guy, he's been battered a bit. He's he's lost an eye. Not too bad. He's, he's, he's got a little bit of an ouchie on his horn. But it's not a real, it's not his horn. It's just something stuck to his helmet, isn't it? But here's the one you've got to feel for the most. Look at that poor little guy. He's, he's someone asked him a question. Ooh. Yeah. Take two, Panadol, and see me in the morning. Orc Scar Head, set A. Looking good. All right, just some some objective markers and things like that. I'm not going to go into there. So, so there you have it. The all the orc stuff you can get from Mr. Module Orc on the OnlyGames.co site. I will put a link below. Okay, yeah. So, what do you think of those? There's some really good stuff there. I I'm liking the Munster Hunters. Uh, there's so much detail on the faces and everything. But look, all of them, really. They're, they're really, really good. They go with the game. I think they can mix in. I reckon those Monster Hunters will fit in with with my Beast Nugger boys. I reckon they could slot in there really, really well. Um, we'll just have to buy something to find out, won't we? The, the Gunner. The Gunner. He was great, too. Really, really good. Which one was your favourite? Comment below. Let's have a conversation. And go check them out. Like I said, there'll be links below. Go check them out. Do yourself a favor. Uh, I'm going to go. So remember, if you go on crumping, you got to bash early, bash often. Wah! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And also press that notification bell so you get to see more of my videos. If you want to get social with Brack, well then, down in the link below, there are all those wonderful platforms that I'm on. And there's even a few where you can donate to, like Patreon and Buy Me A Coffee. Once again, thanks for watching, and catch you later.